Today I want to talk with you about my experience in using Nordcraft for over one year now, building production applications with it, um, moving from custom JavaScript application development to using Nordcraft, which is more of a no-code approach of doing it. What I've learned, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I want to talk with you just about my honest opinion. Um, if it's a good tool, if you should use it, and um, you know why, you know I'm using it currently. So let's take a look at that. So the most important thing that you get with Nordcraft is you get a nice visual editor, right? And you get the ability to turn things into components, which is pretty neat. Now. There are tools like WeWeb that do it, and there are tools like Webflow that do it. Now, the nice thing about it is it has a very comprehensive event system. You can go into those components and you can create custom events with them that are being triggered based on APIs or click events, which makes it very cool when you're building complex applications. You'll be able to split the complex parts into many smaller applications. Um, for example, here in this dashboard that I built in Nordcraft, um, I can go on publish app and this publish app in here is a separate application with its own APIs and its own functionality. It has some events to communicate with the page that it's on and it has some attributes here, which are essentially runtime properties to get data into it. But when I open this, I have now a fully separated environment, which is allowing me to break the project, a big project, into many smaller projects and to work more efficiently with that. Now, that is a big benefit. Another big benefit is you have a very nice visual state management system here where you can, you know, update your variables. And then if you go on things, you can have your click update the variable and vice versa. So that is very nice. That is what they re solve really, really, really well. They also do things like API calls very well. For example, if I'm calling here my API to get all the teams, if I turn on auto fetch, I get server side rendering. Now I don't necessarily need server side rendering, but it does remove the need to have a skeleton loader, removes your development, you know, efforts and covering up the things that are kind of, you know, unstable or not unstable, but you know, your page usually loads first and then the data comes. So you need to work with skeleton loader, make things look nice. In Norcraft, you don't have to worry about that because the moment the page is loaded, the data is already there. Now, that's essentially what I really like about it. Now, let's talk about what I don't necessarily like about it. Um, and actually, there is nothing. I mean, I, I'm criticizing them in plenty of videos when something is not working. I'm saying, oh my God, this is shit and something like this. The truth about that is if you're making a video and if you're spending an hour preparing, you're spending an hour filming and something doesn't work or something doesn't quite work the way you want it to work, that is human, that's normal, I would scream at VS Code. And I do scream occasionally at ChatGPT. Um, that is just the passion in it. So when I ever say, oh, I don't like this about Norcraft, I don't like this about it, or this is shit, it is not directed to anybody of the team, to the tool. It's still a great tool. It's just me being very passionate about what I do and, uh, you know, being a little bit, you know, having, having some temper in that. Um, but, you know, that is development. If you get issues, if you encounter a roadblock, if something doesn't work the way it works, it happens everywhere. It happens in WeWeb, it happens in Webflow, it happens in Wist, it happens in React, in Lovable. This is just development, right? And it happens. Now, with Nordcraft, though, they make those things very simple to debug. And every time you look at a video, when the first 20 minutes are great, then something breaks, I, you know, start throwing some, um, you know, some elbowing Andreas or the Nordcraft team, and then I resolve it. But that's the important thing, the resolving thing. In Nordcraft, when you have bugs, when you have things, when you have roadblocks, they're incredibly easy to debug um, because of all the tools that they have implemented. For example, you have this alerts panel. Right now, this component doesn't have any issues, but it tells me all the issues 
that are in my project and I can go through them like a checklist to fix that. Name me one no-code tool that does that. Um, it, it gives you a great observability in telling you what's wrong, what you should fix. It gives you best practices like removing console locks out of production, and it helps you make sure that your project is clean. You really see that this tool has been built by developers because most no-code tools don't emphasize on shipping a product and helping you ship something that's clean, that's production ready. You see that this is clearly a more professional tool geared towards people who want to use it professionally, who want to build amazing stuff with it. And the last thing is the fact that Norcraft is built in Norcraft. Now, it's quite simple, the idea of Norcraft. You have a state management system, you have your variables, right? You have your state coming in through attributes, you have your APIs, which itself have state too. And then within there, you can do things like formulas, right? Um, where you can set text or something like this, right? You can do formulas and you can do those things visually. You can also bring in some custom code like I'm doing here with a bunch of things um, like in, you know, like detecting a click outside of an element. That is not something that's natively available. I can write a little bit of code. I will turn this into a custom Lego block. Let's just uh, go somewhere on here. For example, I could now go on load and add my Lego block detect click outside of element and I can get my inputs and my events, right? So I can turn custom code into Lego blocks. It's a great tool. It's, it's a great product. I couldn't imagine anything better. And I've tried them all. I've tried WeWeb. What I didn't fully like about WeWeb is it tries to abstract the state management. It binds the state directly to elements. And it's just a little bit harder to work with if you truly want to build custom stuff. Now, most people are probably completely fine just building an app like a dashboard and you know having those basic stuff laid out but if you really want to have control over your interface if you really want to have control over your workflows if you really want to have control over your logic the other option would be WIST, but WIST has client-side rendering which is a big downside if you need good SEO and it's also rather expensive to operate. So the best alternative that you have is Nordcraft. Now, how does Nordcraft compare to React? Because I've been saying, oh, I'm trying React, I'm, I'm doing stuff in React. To be honest, I've tried it. I thought it would be a valid alternative, but the ability to spin up your interfaces visually, once you do it once, you don't want to ever do it again by hand or using components. The ability to go into the canvas and style your elements like in Figma, like in Webflow, is such a big pro. And then combining this with a framework that can handle the most complicated apps out there and handle complex state management with a visual interface without directly having to interact with code is just a game changer. I think there is no better tool than Nordcraft and this is not me trying to sugarcoat anything. I think you should definitely go out there, try it yourself. I've been looking for Nordcraft alternatives the whole time. Every time I do something and it doesn't work the way I want it to work, I get a little bit angry and look for alternatives. And I couldn't find anybody, any alternative that compares to Nordcraft. Of course, development is frustrating. And sometimes when you hit a roadblock, because most of the times the errors that come up are your fault, let's be honest, when you are in it and you got a deadline and it is frustrating, that's development. But Norcraft makes it less frustrating, right? And um, it ne Norcraft was never that frustrating where I did drop the ball and say I'm not doing it anymore because of all the features that they have making it easy with the alerts panel, the issues panel, helping you debug that, giving you native access to console logging things. I think it's a great tool. If you're considering building an application in React or Norcraft or any other thing compared to Norcraft, I would highly suggest you to take a look at Norcraft. I've been using it for over a year and I couldn't imagine a better tool. Again, I'm not being paid to say that. Um, I do have some conflict on interest possibly because I run a community helping you do stuff in no code, but I would probably make more money doing a WeWeb community. Why don't I do a WeWeb community? Uh, because I personally just prefer Nordcraft. So this is just my personal view of things. And you know, you may try Nordcraft. You may say, you know what? I don't know. It's, it, it just, it's a little bit steep learning curve. And I get it. Programming is frustrating. I'm occasionally screaming at it too. But if you give it some time, if you learn to be a little bit more patient, that's certainly something I'm trying to learn. Um, 
I think it's a great tool. It's the best out there. There's nothing that compares to it. And I think it's pretty hard to build something that compares to it. I was trying to build an alternative to Wist and I was like, where the heck do I build it in? I have to build it somewhere. Vakus back then introduced me to Nordcraft. I built the first version in Nordcraft and I was like, oh gee, this is so good. I'll just start using Nordcraft. I don't even, I discard the idea of building an alternative to Wiz because Nordcraft was it already. How can I make this better? And it's open source, so you can run it yourself. You can self host it. You can version the runtime if you want. So everything that complex development cycles would need or any custom client specifications, self hosting, all those things is already in there out of the box. And you can spin it up yourself pretty quickly, even with self hosting. So you should definitely check out Nordcraft. I think it's a great tool. It's what we use. I couldn't imagine anything better than it, to be honest. Um, and again, programming is frustrating, but Nordcraft makes it less frustrating and it makes it actually a pretty pleasant experience. So check it out, definitely. I think you can't go wrong in using Nordcraft. And that's my honest opinion on that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm here to help you with all my videos and in the comment section. Take care.